good afternoon. So hopefully you can hear me okay. I've got a new microphone and it's good, but I don't know how to use it. So we'll find out tomorrow when I edit. But yeah, so the good news is I've got a new microphone. The bad news is I've got no GoPro whatsoever. So I've sent it away to get replaced, which is good. But today we're having to record on my, um, my wife's old phone. So hopefully it lives up to the task. But anyway, I'm going to get set up and then we'll talk about conditions and whatnot soon. I'm actually at Hordle Cliffs today, first time I've ever been here. I don't really know where I'm fishing. However, I've looked on Navionics and there's a very good little bit of structure in the ground that looks good for rays. And I know rays come out of here from other YouTubers and anglers. So yeah, I'm just here to give it a go. I need to learn the mark. But it's an easterly wind and it's going to be torrential rain a bit later. It's flat calm out there, it's not great, but it's the only time I can fish. So anyway, this is better than no fishing, isn't it? So I'm going to get set up and I'll talk to you in a bit. So we're going to get some baits out. I've got two rods set up, no baits out yet. I need to kind of hurry up, but um, yeah. So again, apologies for any video or audio issues today. I've got an old Samson S10 recording. Um, my microphone doesn't sound right to me, but it might be the phone playing it back. But I don't have time to mess around now, I need to get fishing. So yeah, we're down at Hordle Cliffs. Now the reason I've chose Hordle is because on the map, with Windfinder, it shows you the direction of the wind. And tonight it's kind of a northwest. And where we're facing, I'm hoping the cliffs are going to give us some kind of shelter because the conditions really aren't good today. But let me bring my phone up and I'll show you what the conditions are so you see what I mean. Yeah, so right, the wind. So it's now five o'clock in the afternoon. So it's not too bad at the moment, as you can see, 12 mile an hour to 15 mile an hour gusts. But as you can see by 10 o'clock, we've got 20 mile an hour winds, 31 mile an hour gusts and torrential rain. So I don't know what I'm doing really. Um, yeah, I might regret this by the end of the session, but I need to get out fishing. Um, so for tides, oh, so the tide's quite good. It's low at seven o'clock at night. So we're fishing it down still now, but then it goes all the way up and I think it's about, what, two o'clock in the morning at high tide, which I definitely won't be here that long. I'm pretty certain. If I'm here past 10, I'd be surprised. So it's just that case of trying to catch the rays as they're feeding, really, because ultimately I would like as many species as possible and I'll be fishing that way, but I think most likely to get a ray or two if I'm lucky. So yeah, a bit of a grim outlook, but I don't mind. You know, I'm going to set the shelter up, even if I have to do it right up against the cliff to try and get some shelter. That's fine, I don't mind getting wet. Um, I'll say this now, we'll see how that is later, later on this evening. But as long as I get a couple of fish, I'll be happy. So <laughs> it's just simple as that. So bait wise, predominantly just gonna be going for rays. So I'm gonna put sand eel out, probably as far as I can get it. Um, then a free hook flapper with worm out a bit closer. And I'm not sure what to do, what to do with the third rod. I might put some mackerel out just to test the water. Excuse the pun. Um, but as it gets towards the evening and dark, I'll probably have different baits out. I'll probably have ragworm on the free hook flapper, but um, sand on two rods maybe. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see what we get probably as it turns dusky, see what fish are about, and then I'll fish hard for what fish we've got by then, hopefully, so that's the plan. Anyway, I'm waffling. I'm gonna get baited up, get some rods out, and then work out where I'm gonna set my shelter up. So yeah, I'm fishing alone tonight, but I might be joined by a friend later on, hopefully. Let's hope he doesn't look at the weather forecast before he comes down. But anyway, got to get on and I'll catch you in a bit. Right, I've been here a couple of hours, no bites yet. Um, just getting stripped by crabs at the moment. Um, I mean, it is flat calm out here. There's a little bit of movement in the water. But it's very low tide, isn't it? Spring tide, low tides coming up right now. So I didn't expect much, to be honest. I was just hopeful. Um, so I moved the rods up because I don't know if you know Hordle, but it's got two, like, a bit like chisel. It goes down and level and down. And I couldn't really see the rods down there, so I brought them up so I can sit in my tent. It's so grim today. Not too windy yet, but it's horrible and rainy and drizzly. So. Yeah, so I'm just chopping baits at the moment. I've got sand eel and squid out on one. Strips of mackerel on this one. And then on that one, 
I'll put a clip down with a chunk of mackerel on one hook and ragworm on the other. But no takers yet. But no, I mean, this is going to be an evening session. That's always kind of the plan. And um, once high tide, not high tide, once low tide's gone, it starts getting dark. Probably halfway between low and high is when I'd expect it to pick up properly, if it's going to. Obviously, we've got an easterly wind as well, and all the excuses are there today. So, yeah, who knows? Oh my god, we might actually have a bite. Oh, I'm so happy we've actually got a fish. I thought I was going to have blank today. It's only about nine o'clock, half nine, but yeah, it's getting worried. Just put him in a bucket, make sure he's okay. He's not the biggest. We've got a lovely little smooth hand pup. Really happy with that. First one I caught of the year, and obviously I like catching them much, much, much bigger, but tonight I would have thanked a whiting or a dogfish, so yeah, it's nice to have something a little bit different. First of the year, blank saves. Happy days. <laughs> oh wow, that's an event for five, ten minutes. I saw the ray, bed, uh, ray rod go down, and as I went out to get it, a massive gust of wind just caught the edge of my um, shelter, and I nearly lost it. Oh my gosh. Anyway, we pulled in the ray rod. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's my favourite, small-eyed ray. Oh, I'm glad to see this today. I thought that little smooth pup was going to be it, and I was happy with that. So this is what we're here for, little ray. He's only little, but I love catching them at any size. Oh, especially nights like tonight, eh? Wow, I'm really happy with that. So let's just try and hold him up. <laughs> Lovely. Let's get him back in. I've already got the new bait out. I've got a big bucket now, it's great. I can put fish like this in, they fit in there and they sit there nicely. So yeah, happy days. Oh, let's get back. There we go, had to happen, didn't it? Dogfish. But hey, yeah, it's another species, another fish tonight. Quite happy, really. I just thought it was a ray, you know, Dogfish, when they curl up and you drag them in, they feel like dead weight, like a ray does. But no, quite a big dogfish, actually. But, um, yeah, so I can't film me reeling it in and doing all the stuff. It's a nightmare filming with a phone in the rain. So it is what it is. But anyway, yeah, let's keep pushing. I want more rays. So Dove's actually up around the corner, and he's had a couple of um, small eyes and a dogfish as well. So we're doing, both doing pretty similar, actually. But yeah, nice. Let's get back. Oh, there you go, dogfish number two. They're liking my sand eel now, annoyingly. It's quite hard to get hold of sand eel at the moment, so <laughs> I they didn't. But anyway, it's a fish, I guess. Shouldn't complain. Fish number four. But I've got more sand eel. I've got another whole pack, so we're going to use it up, basically, because the fishing's turning on now. We've still got about three or four hours of high tide, but I can't stay that late, so we'll see how we get on. Anyway, let's get back in. Oh, it's grim today. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm not risking my microphones in this weather. I'm um, not sure how waterproof they are. But I've got a bit of a problem. So since I caught the ray, I'm just all out of salt trying to catch more. So I've put um, sand eel on all my rods. But dogfish, every time I put a rod in, a dogfish is on it within like minutes. So, oh look, I'll show you. In my bucket. Course. Dogfish. Dogfish. And dogfish. Well, I've got them in my bucket here, so they're not just kept out, but yeah, they're annoying now. So anyway, I've just managed to get three rods back out. I don't even want to look behind me because I bet one's going with a dogfish on. But anyway, 
I'm going to keep going until I use my sandy luck because I'd love another ray. Um, Dobby's down there. I think he's had two or three rays now, so he's doing well. So hopefully um, there's one or two left out there for me. And um, I can have one more before I go home. That's the idea. Anyway, um, I'm going to turn around and sit the rods for him. There you go, guys. Another little small live ray. Lovely job. Well, it's good to see him because I've had about six, seven dogfish since the last ray. And it's just I can't keep a bait in the water without putting a dogfish at the moment. So it's lovely to see this little fella. Yeah, second small eyed ray of the night. Quite happy with that. It's what we're here for. I only expected a, a ray or two tonight and nothing else really. So anything else is a bonus. But yeah, <laughs> lovely little ray. Anyway, I've only got about an hour left in me. Now I'm wet and getting quite miserable. So um, yeah, I'm using up the pack of sand ill, then we go home. But <laughs> let's get him back. Oh, this is grim. So I'm having to stoop down because I've had to put my um, phone and tripod right in a tent. It's a nightmare. I dread to think what the quality of this video is going to be like, but yeah, touchscreen phone in this wind and rain doesn't really work. And the quality on the phone doesn't look that good anyway. But if this is the first video, please don't be put off. Um, most of mine, are, they're much better than this. And I'll have my new GoPro next week, so I'll be back to normal. Um, anyway, it's about one in the morning. I'm just wet now. And yeah, I kind of want to go home. So... I've just put the last baits out. I've gone through two packs of sand eel today, just trying to get through the dogfish. Um, so yeah, I'm nearly out of bait anyway. So all the rods have got bait on now. I'm gonna start packing up, then we'll bring the rods in and I'll say a proper goodbye. But anyway, yeah, I have kind of enjoyed tonight, but I'm quite tired now. <laughs> I'll probably look tired and fed up, but yeah, it's just the weather's beating me today and the dogfish. But anyway, hopefully we'll catch another ray before we go home. But if not, I'm happy anyway. So yeah, catch you in a bit. Right, that's me all packed up, finally. Um, God knows what time it is. I've got tra quite a trek back to the car yet at the moment, but it's just horrible. Yeah, I've been moaning I've been wet for hours and hours and hours. It's just not stopped raining all night. It's just, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's been a hard session like, making from it. Um, I used up a lot of bait. Trying to get through those dogfish is a bit of a nightmare, but, you know, there was a big easterly wind today. Um, not ideal conditions. I mean, massive rain and wind and flat, calm sea. So really not ideal. That's why I didn't fish Southbourne today. Um, so yeah, new venue as well. I haven't done too badly, to be honest. So we had two small large rays, seven dogfish and a smooth hand pup. So that's not bad for a first attempt here. Um, go and check out Dobbo, because Dobbo's fishing adventures. Um, he was a few hundred yards up the beach. I haven't seen him tonight, but I he was telling me where he was. He's up around the corner and a few, yeah, well, there's no groins here, but quite a bit down the beach. And he's done really well tonight. So check out his video. Um, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to watching that one myself. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm done for a week. Not sure what I'm going to do next week. Hoping to get the boat out finally. Um, looks like there's some gaps in the weather. But if not, I don't know. Southbourne or Boscombe Pier again, because I'm still on that turbot probably. But anyway, I'll have my GoPro next time. The video's going to be a lot better. And I'll actually be brave enough to use my mic, so I didn't want to get them out in the rain today. So the video quality is going to get a lot better from here on. So um, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for sticking with me tonight. And I'll catch you next time. <laughs>